So, guess what today is? I'll give you a hint. These are not headgear for out of space men. Nope, they're funnels. And today is going to be a funnel pour. I, um, I think I've done two of these since I've been doing paintings. Uh, so this may be my third, or I could be mistaken, it's my second attempt with funnels. My dilemma is which one of these funnels to use. You can see that uh, I have a, obviously two different size uh, openings, and I'm not quite sure which one to go with yet. These are the paints on this side. Most of these are metallics, and I have two colors, a red oxide and a aqua green and the rest are metallics. Obviously, a little standby with Amsterdam white. So, let me get my black background down here and uh, get ready to uh, do a funnel. And uh, this is going to be fun. At least for me, anyway. I don't know about you. Hope you have fun watching. I will be back shortly. So, here we go. Got the base paint down. And before I start, I wanted to show you I just got an Amazon delivery. And I want to show you what a big container of Amsterdam titanium white looks like. This is a huge. -y. This should last me a while. Anyway, uh, better than buying them little tiny guys. This should last. I like it. And it's soft, too, in case you were wondering. Anyway, so much for that fun thing. Uh, okay, I've decided to use the little 8-ounce funnel. And I thought it won't, it won't take as much layers of paint to fill up the uh, inside of the bowl. And I won't have to do really, uh, really th uh, thick layers like I would with um, uh, the, big, the big funnel. So I'm opening my lids here. And I think I'm ready to go. Oh, yeah. Of course, I suppose I should have had this done before I turned on, but whatever. Okay, everything's open, and I am going to attempt my second or third funnel. And I think I will start here. And uh, right about there. Okay, no time like the present. Let's add some silver. A little bit there. I don't know how many times I'm going to do this. Uh, this is the red oxide. This is silver. I'm holding it pretty tight. I don't want to poke a hole through the canvas because I'm so excited. Here we have a little bit of copper. And here is a mixture of two different golds. Sure, why not? And I'm going to add a little bit of pearl. Well, that was very cute, Richard. You don't shake it when the lid is unscrewed, moron. Uh, oh, well. I didn't get any of my new tannies. Okay, here's a fun color. There's the aqua. Oh, yeah. And now, uh, I think we'll start over again. Here's the Silver. Red oxide. Your average gray. Your happy copper. Here's your fool's gold. And pearl. And last but not least, aqua. Ooh, you know what I'm going to do? Well, I'm not going to tell you. OK, here is the tough part, uh, is knowing, knowing, spit it out, Richard, knowing how much to pull up the funnel. Maybe I've got it figured out. Boy, I'm going through the paint like a sailor through a draft beer. 
Ooh, zippers. This is quick. I think I better stop and do a refill. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to mix it up. Shut your eyes before you see what... Oh, I'm putting a different blue in. You can't trust me. A little more silver. Man, I'm sure I'm glad this stuff doesn't cost a lot of money. I'm using it. Ooh. Okay. Copper. Fool's gold. Pearl. And aqua. Okay, that's it, buddy. Whoa. Okay. Well, that's a very interesting color combination. I'd say it's interesting. So, uh, I can see right now that I should have had the foresight to get my gloves out. Holy macaroni. All right, I am going to let this sit for a moment. And uh, you know what I forgot to do? Too bad, I forgot to put Amsterdam White in. Oh well. Okay, so I'm going to close my lids, my paint, get the paints off here, get my gloves on, and I will be back. So stand by with the excitement. Keep it going. Hold your breath. I'll be back. Okay, you can breathe now. <laughs> I had to wait and put my glove on, make sure I could turn my camera back on with my fingerprint. So let me get the gloves on here. And I'm, I think this is going to be fun to slip and slide this, buddy. So let's come down. Yeah, let's come down. See what we got. Okay, I'm setting her down and running my finger across here so it'll stop. You do know that if you don't get this stop going, the paint just keeps running to Argentina, South America, and it just keeps going. You come back an hour later and all the paint's dripped off because the gravity just said, come on, follow me over the edge, like a bunch of leamings. Heading for the cliff, heading, heading for the cliff. Okay. Well, that is different. Okay, uh, I am going to stop here and uh, I'm going to do a little something with it. I'm not quite sure what, but uh, got to get these guys. Darn it! Got to get these gloves off. You see how much it just keeps coming, like a bad dream. Stop running over the edge, Fred. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Okay, I gotta get these gloves off before I can turn the camera off. 
So there's one. And here's two. So let me run around, turn the camera off, and kind of clean this up a little bit and fiddle, and I will be back shortly. Stand by to stand by. Oh, <coughs> okay. I forgot what I just got carried away and just kept going and going and going. I uh, used a, a little straw. I used my number two pencil. And I just kept messing with it. So uh, from this angle, I don't know if you can tell what I did or not, but it is different, isn't it? It is different. So what we talked about before, different is good. So I am going to stop the video again and uh, I've already blown it with a blowtorch and and I did my fiddling so I think I'm fiddled out. I will uh, take this off the tripod come in for a close-up. Uh, it is quite different but I think I'm just going to start my pride myself in being quite different. I <laughs> don't know what else to do. So uh, I will stop this now and take it out of the tripod bring it around for a close-up and uh, we may call this a somewhat successful funnel pour. So I'll be back. Alrighty, here we are in the front. And uh, I will move it around a little bit. And I guess the best thing to do is just bring it in for a close-up. That's what close-ups are for, right? Look at this. This looks like some type of geological scene. I mean, it is one busy painting. Very busy. Yeah. So with that, I I use my little bent steel straw, the one that's bent on an angle, and uh, blew, I just blew different areas and kind of mixed it up even more than it was. Uh, and so with that, I thank you for watching this while I had fun doing it. I'll do a couple of still shots and call that good for the day. This is Richard B. saying thanks for watching.